Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We are here at Albert Park in Melbourne, Australia for our first race of the Formula 1 season. We are currently sitting uh, to start on 5th place. Just south of Melbourne's downtown and business centre is our goal one early is to try and hit second place. That's what our uh, team are expecting from us. So that's what we've got to go and try and hit. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video a couple hours ago, I'm trying to hit 20 subscribers by the end of June, beginning of July time. If you can make that happen, I would be so pleased. Oh, that's just my first milestone. There is going to be more to come. I am only a couple away from hitting 15, which is one of the first milestones that you get with YouTube. The next one is at 20, and I am hoping to hit that by June. So as that I can potentially maybe get F1 2020 on the release day put up on YouTube for you guys to watch. So if you can make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe as well, make sure you help me hit that goal and share this video with friends, share it with family, anyone who you think could be interested in anything that I bring on my channel. So without any further ado, let's get into the race. Just going to have a quick look at the, the strategy, see what we've got. So we're going to go with the soft first stint and the medium second stint. I'm just going to go and add some fuel in when I eventually catch up. Add a couple of laps of fuel. No, add half a lap of fuel and make sure that we've selected the right strategy and let's get into the formation lap uh, not much to go with the formation lap just going to try and keep position heat up the tires heat everything up get everything all going running at the correct temperature as you can see right now everything's very cold but it shouldn't take us too long to get this get the tires all heated up and we have got to be around about 80 degrees celsius in order to be classed as warm I don't know about you guys, but I'm really looking forward to this race, seeing what we can do. How much of this we can get done. No threat of rain for the time being. Conditions looking good. I know it's not going to be easy. Getting to P2 from P5, where we are. But I'm hoping it's not going to be too difficult either. couple of corners away from the start finish straight where we'll line back up and get ready to go. For anyone who doesn't know what this formation lap is for, it is purely just to get the heat into the tyres. You don't have to do it in the game, but I just think it adds a little bit extra immersion. So it's now just a case of lining up back in our P5 spot. Right here. Wait on everyone else to form up. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid is formed. Be ready with the clutch. So, clutch in, full throttle, almost full throttle. Five red lights. And away we go on our very first lap of the F1 season. 
got an eye nice and close. Right on the back. Tyra Butler there. And he's going to get past into P4. Good start. Only got two more positions to go in order to keep. They come up really close up on Vettel around that. I think that's the third corner, fourth corner. Up behind Vettel. Just trying to keep our pace. Manage our fuel as much as we can. Trying to come up on the inside and just can't make it. And damage our front wing a little there. Now going back damage. a couple of spaces, we're back down to P6. Coming into the slow chicane. Stepping just in front of us. Trying not to cut the corners, trying to make it as fast as I can. Putting the fuel into the rich. We'll have to break in a little bit late on that. Just keeping us nice and smooth around these couple of corners. I gotta say we're not doing too bad so far in our first lap. Haven't been the car yet. Not the exactly the start I was hoping for, but it's a start nonetheless, and it looks like we've got Magnussen coming up behind us. Is he going to make it past the inside? No, he's not. We managed to just fight that position off. So we keep P6 for an hour a little bit longer. Try and close our gap on Verstappen. Catch up to him. Try not to break too late, get the breaking points just right. Just try and get as close as I can to that one second gap for lap three so that we can get... DRS and maybe try and make a slip past them on one of the fast corners. Definitely got the power in the car to keep up with them, it's just managing our track position. Right, bringing the fuel mixture back there, trying to save a little bit on fuel. I didn't put too much extra in. Back up into Rich on the straights. On the faster sections, I won't be running the Rich. On the slower sections, I'll just go on lean. Try not to use the standard too much because I'm not the best at managing my fuel. Here we come into lap 3 where DRS is going to be enabled. Hopefully we can start to close the gap a little bit better off here. Devin Butler is now the one in front. I've got to just take a minute and admire this track for how it is. It's completely all public road, closed off obviously for the race, for the weekend. It is just a stunning track. Again guys, make sure if you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button. It means so much more than you know. And it's free to subscribe, so if you're enjoying all my content, hit that subscribe button, it's not going to cost you a penny. It helps me out so much. We're getting faster lap times, faster sector times. Don't quite know what the gap is on Devin Butler here. You can see he is in a Ferrari, so he's definitely in a rival team. Close matches our performance. I believe Weber's with the Red Bull Toro Rossos. So another high competitor. Still not close enough to catch his DRS. I can sometimes see him 
coming around corners, but I can never seem to get close enough to him. Trying to be a little bit conservative with the fuel because I haven't loaded too much. Probably should have loaded a little bit more than I have. Ignore the cat in the background. Magnuson trying to come up around the outside and he pushes it into the wall. Loses a front wing. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Uh, I think it's time to just change the strategy. Copy. Accidentally accept mediums there. I want him to put I think I want him to go ahead and put hards on. That's what I'm doing here is just trying to get me to set the hard tires. Medium tires at the next stop. No, nope, medium tires. As I selected hards, I wanted the mediums. That's what it was. I wanted the mediums, I didn't get them. I'm now all the way back in P20. That has totally just ruined my race. But hopefully, we can get the undercut on them. Hopefully we can get the undercut on the rest of the track and gain a few positions. I realise now that I've left myself on rich mode and I'm Complete revving the absolute hell out of the engine. Gonna have to put myself down on lean so that I don't run out of fuel. To speed now, let's get some heat into those tyres. Put that down to lean. Now, surprisingly, we have still got DRS, so obviously, we were close enough when we came into the pits that it's allowing us to have it now. Just gonna have a quick look at my tyre attempts when we get around the corner here. and I find the right position. There we go. Let's see if I can manage my way through. A quick look at how much fuel I've got. So hopefully these tyres will see us all the way through to the end of the race and we shouldn't have to do too much with them. We have got a 40 second gap between us and Russell. It's really not how I was wanting to start this race off. This is not going in our favour whatsoever. Definitely not what I've been expecting. Definitely not what I was planning to do. Especially after having such a good free practice coming in uh, first place in P1. Uh, P1 and P2, simulating P3, getting P5 in qualifying. I did not expect to be sitting all the way back here at P20 at lap 6 in the race with a 40 second gap. That's nearly an entire lap between the person in front of us. But for just now we'll keep pushing, we may have to retire early I think, there'll be no point in us racing, we'll get the same zero points, the same position, if we retire or not, I suppose the only thing we can really hope for is a safety car at this point, or even a virtual safety car so we can try and bunch our way up into the pack. half a second so approximately gaining about a second a lap on Russell so unless we get some kind of safety car out here we are finishing in P20 
or if we get maybe some other retirements. But I don't see us lasting that long. Jeff treating me like I don't even know how to handle my own fuel. I suppose I don't really, but... Definitely managing to handle that corner, that fast chicane there, a lot better than we were at the beginning of free practice. We're gaining a lot quicker on Russell than I thought we would be. Four and a half seconds between us. You know, we might still have a chance in this race, actually. like we're now catching up on Russell by about two seconds a lap. I don't know whether he's going slower, whether we're going quicker, but we're doing something right. Definitely not that corner though. We'll just come over that curb a little bit too much. Our split times aren't doing the best. We're down about half a second on our split times. We are starting to handle our corners a lot better than we were. Finally got an improvement on our lap, or rather on our split time. The car 
ahead of you has just fitted the hard tyres. Car ahead now on the hard compound. So that's Danny Kavia now in front of us. I think that's everyone in front of us now being in the pits, at least the vast majority of them. Maybe not the front runners, but the vast majority of the people that are immediately in front of us will have all been in the pits by now. And Danny Viet's just got a brand new set of tyres on, so we're really going to start to struggle here unless we get some kind of safety car out. Only 16 seconds between us, but in order for us to really make a difference, it is going to have to be a case of a safety car in front of us. Safety car will need to come out for us to make any significant change to get into the points. I don't see it happening in 19 laps left. But you never know. Bigger miracles have happened in Formula 1. Trying to push ourselves a little bit too much now that we know that we have got a, even a slight chance. Danny Kavir is now overtaking Kubica. That's Kubica now in front of us. He's only a couple of seconds as well. Four, four seconds I think in front of us. Nothing we can't handle. Five seconds even. Just over five seconds in front of us. Nothing we can't handle. See, we're really trying to push up on Kubica here, try and gain some track position. Didn't get the best entry into that corner though, and didn't get the best exit from that either. But make sure up into Rich, push as far as we can. Three and a half seconds between us and Kubica. As long as we just keep our foot down, we should be able to gain on him this lap. That's definitely a tight corner. That's our teammate, Lewis, is in Lewis into the pits. So the front runners weren't in the pits at this point, they are now. No, we're definitely not going to get a podium finish. Like I was hoping to. I was hoping for the first race of this season we could maybe get a Mercedes 1 2, but it doesn't look that way anymore. I've just absolutely wrecked myself in this race. Not all my fault, but it was partly. Nothing we can do about it now though. TRS on Kubica, maybe we can try and get past them here. You're catching the car ahead by a couple of seconds a lap. Just made it past them. Managed to get DRS into the second zone. Can we gain on Pierre Gasly? We're definitely getting back in the game here. But we keep Kubica behind us. Focus on gaining on Pierre Gasly. That's the next mission. There's a big bunch of them just up in front. If I'm lucky, I might be able to squeeze past all of them at some point in the next coming laps, get ourselves into the points at least. 
so that we don't look like complete failures for Mercedes. Let's take that a little too tight. I think it might again do a second though. Starting to lose focus on the track a bit. Lost my breaking point in that last one. Now Russell's in the pit, so we managed to get past them up into P18. Oh, and Grosjean's got a bit of a problem there, so we're up into P17. That's not too bad. Seven places to go. It's not been it yet. Starting to get really close up to Pierre now. Shut up, Jeff. I've really had enough of Jeff telling me about how to handle my fuel. And I just missed the breaking point completely for that turn. That's cost me a couple of precious seconds. Our gap to the car in front is 1.6 seconds. Too close to them in this. Very tight, very tight pack. Fuel in your reps, to see what we can gain. Forty-four and a half seconds to our teammate. We're not too worried about that because we're not looking now at being able to catch up with him. See if we can sneak past Gasly, and we don't manage to make it. Get a little bit of contact and skid a little bit. He's lost us another couple of seconds on him. Just trying our hardest to find an overtaking point on Gasly. So focused on overtaking Gasly now that I'm being very experimental into the braking corners. Breaking points. Again, I was having a look at the inside there, I just couldn't make it work. Got DRS, fuel mode rich. And, oh, I've just messed the rest of my okay, race up. Box, box, box. We're adjusting the strategy. Come in this no, there's no point boxing. I don't really see there being much point in boxing. Oh, I'll go with hards. I'll get us all the way at the end, I suppose. Right now, all that position, all that track space that we've that we had gained, we've now lost. I don't know what's taken this team so long with a pit stop. That's a 13 second pit stop to change four wheels and a wing. It should be about six seconds. I don't know why they are messing about with that. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. That's us about to start getting overlapped now. I think it's our teammate trying to get past. It is Lewis Hamilton trying to get past. And you can tell as well that even with us having hards on, hard compound tyres on, we do have pace with Lewis Hamilton. So we do have a race pace. 
compatible of getting us on the podium. But we've just made too many mistakes. There's practically no point in continuing the race now. But I'll, I'll keep going. Hope for a miracle. nothing happens within the next couple of laps I think we are just going to have to retire anyway. tires are nice and warm everything's nice and that's with us on our lean mix as well we're managing to keep up with Hamilton Not sure who that is up behind us, but he's getting in close. I'm gonna have to let him pass soon as well. The car ahead is coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tires. The gap to the car ahead is 9.8 seconds. The Ricardo is only 9 seconds in front of us. But we have got an our blue flag. I'll give him some boost here to get past. It doesn't look like he's gaining on us enough. Once we get past here I'm going to keep wide and slow down a bit to let him pass what's he doing? he's bashed right into the back of us I think that could be payback from the feeder series and we didn't let him pass but thanks to him we've now got DRS for the start finish Lap 18. Hmm. I think this is our race over, guys. There's practically no point in racing anymore.
off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. Okay guys, so as you see we've just hit the fastest lap of the race, so we definitely do have the power in this car to get first place, or at least on the podium, we have the power to do it, but there's just not really that much point in fighting much further. And there goes half our front wing. I think this is just going to have to be the end of it for us. Damaged. Expect a lot of understeer unless we replace it. A new strategy is available on the MFT. So this strategy is now. Just keep the current one. I'll just find a place to pull over and retire. I think there isn't really another option. Not how I was wanting this race to go at all. I think I'm probably more gutted than you guys are. You never know. You guys could be more gutted than me. Oh, pull in here and retire. There isn't really anything else for us to do. So I'm just having a look to see if there's any way I can select retire from there. But I could have restarted it and seen how far I could go without you guys knowing about it but that's just not what I want to do I want to keep this as real one go as I possibly can but Lewis Hamilton got first place how do you think they were able to set so I suppose that's up. better than nothing, it's still well, points for the team. team. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. I think that's Devin Butler in P2 and Lucas Weber in P3. So we definitely had the pace to be up there with those guys. Which one we would have replaced, I don't know. So let's review the updated driver standings. Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the drivers' championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff As about. As you can see, DNF. If we'd have pushed a little bit further in front, we would have got P19, but it'd still be a DNF. We're still a lap down at the end of the day. No way we were getting any points. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. So I think it's fair to say that McLaren are a bit unhappy with us at the moment. I think they're only going to be even more unhappy after the interview is over and done with. Bad luck today. That must be incredibly disappointing. Yeah, it really is. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? What are you talking about? <laughs> your old opponent from F2 had a great race. What goes through your mind when you see him up on the podium? Uh, he's, 
his team worked hard as well. You know, you got to give him that. That crash looked pretty serious. Can you walk me through what happened? Um, I'm just gonna go with downforce. I think. I'm not 100% sure what the problem was, but Appreciate your time. I think it might have been something to do with the mix of the power and the downforce. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave that there. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to comment down below as well. Subscribe, help me reach my goal of 20 subscribers. Share this with your friends, with your family, your colleagues, anyone. And until next time guys, I'll see you later. What on earth was that performance? Come on, this isn't bumper cars at the fairground. Your results and conduct here matter, so pay more attention. We can't afford too many races like that.